Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome for the preparation of the 10th anniversary of the canonization of our founder. Today we are going to see something about Father Luis Gunella and his poor. Father Luis Gunella became a father and friend of the poor because he was called by God. God chose him for the sake of the poor people. So instead of focusing on the poor, let us thank God because God was the source. God was his origin. God was the, the reference point for his mission. That is why after starting every initiative of his mission, he was able to say, it is God who does. Let us thank God for his life, for his sanctity for the whole church. Father Luis Gunella lived in the second part of the 19th century, which was greatly influenced by the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution had a great impact over all the countries of Europe, including the northern parts of Italy. Many people were affected by the economical and financial problems of the society. Many workers became jobless and led to the starvation. Even the workers, farmers and many people became homeless. Human dignity and respect was ignored, including for the people of physically and mentally disabled persons. In this historical and social context, Father Luis Guanella chose his poor. Chose his poor so that they may recognize the beautiful face of the Father. He wanted to show them the real paternal face with our earthly dad who can provide all his children all their needs. Poor, the poor of Don Gunella. Have you read the Gospel of John chapter 5? The scene of Jesus healing at the pool of Bethesda. Jesus saw the multitude of the poor at the pool. But he saw the one particularly who was screaming, I have no one to help to take me to the pool of Bethesda. Jesus chose him, Jesus touched him and healed him. In the same way, Father Luis Gunella chose his poor who was abandoned. Those who say that I have no one in the society to help. He chose the elderly people, the orphan children, the abandoned children, and even the immigrants. Above all, those abandoned people, those who have no one. In a special way, he embraced the mentally disabled children, the differently abled children, those who have no one. Because they are special, he used to kind them with a different term, good children, bonifili, which means they are special kids in front of the eyes of God. They are special creatures in the eyes of God. They need our special care attendance. Father Luis Gunella looked at the special people as persons, those who have body, mind, heart and soul. That is why he wanted to give the fullness of life to them. John chapter 10 verse 10. I have come so that they may have life in abundance. They may have life to the fullness. Human beings have certain basic needs for their life. Food, clothing and shelter. But Father Gunella used to tell one more basic need for them. They are in need of God. In all our houses, bread and the Lord should never be lacking in our Gunellian houses. He used to tell very often to the Gunellian fathers and sisters. Pope John Paul II, when he visited the Gunelian house in Rome, he addressed to all the Gunelians followingly. A special charity is required, a heroic charity, in order to love these unfortunate children, mentally disabled persons. It is easy to love the visible beauty. It is difficult to love in the absence of the beauty. To discover this beauty, the great and unique charity is required. This was the path followed by Father Gunella. This is also the path of the Gunellians. Dear brothers and sisters, in this 10th year of anniversary, let us also consider the poor people as the true treasures of the Gunellian houses. And let us recognize them and enjoy this feast of 10th year of canonization of our founder. Happy feast.